especially with all the um, all the preservatives and all the sulfates right. that are in everyday eating. Right. Um, it just really helps my system jumpstart and um, kick off my day with like a really healthy, good snack, especially when it comes to digestion. It's really big for me um, to have a healthy intestinal tract. For sure. Since for sure. Um, I did have a family member that was um, diagnosed with stage four colon cancer that actually passed away. No way. And, um, within 33 days it just completely took over their body but they were at a higher age that she was um 82 years old so oh, yeah. it's not like it's um in younger age but still i want to try and reverse those effects and not have to worry so much and you know be a little bit more healthier because back in those days they really didn't understand that like chemicals were killing us and now that we are more aware more knowledgeable we can prevent those type of things so i yeah. try to stay on top of it yeah the resources are definitely out there to that point um i'm sure that as you like you said beets carrots celery and stuff that you've kind of educated yourself on the mm -hmm. different vitamins and things that they do for you and that kind right yeah, okay <laughs> Just a yeah. and um, that kind of goes in line with the video that i had last thursday um as far as um my my friend michelle asked the uh, how can you eat more vegetables and I, one of my yeah. tip number four was to blend them yeah so um as you're blending them as you're seeing the benefits as you're reading up on different things that you want to add to your um to your shake or your mm -hmm. smoothie or whatever like that it's just an easy efficient way to kind of know what you're doing, educate yourself, and of course, ultimately feel better. So. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of remedies in fruits and vegetables as well. Like ginger, for instance, has um, a natural aspirin in it. And right. a lot of people don't know that. And people like see this like twig looking thing at the store and they would never even, you know, yeah. understand unless they wanted to like know, you know what I mean? Exactly. So like... Yeah. I encourage people to like really try and like figure out what is that big purple thing. Well, that's an eggplant. Right, you know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> one thing, one thing I admire um, that me and Drake talked about um, last episode was um, the the sense to be proactive, not to wait until your body tells you that you need to change something because your body will let you know oh, yeah. when you eat put too much junk in it. Right? It'll give you warnings. It'll give you signs, lethargy or whatever. So um, as I turn thirty one, I'm kind of trying to step ahead of. Uh, of that curve and just trying to educate myself on different vegetables and different things that I like and the benefits of it too. So it sounds like that's what you're doing, kind of stepping ahead oh, of the yeah. genetic cycle and stuff. And mm -hmm. Very nice. I'm trying to get everyone at home on that veggie cake, man. Um, Christian likes Brussels sprouts. He likes asparagus. He likes carrots. Yeah. He likes a lot of veggies. He likes vegetable soup, which is a really good one. I'm trying to get Chris to like it's <laughs> easier for Christian than Chris. He's like, if you wrap it in bacon, I know you. Right. Okay. <laughs> wrap, and I made some bacon wrap asparagus. It's Fire. funny because um, uh, Clarissa's dad came over. We were watching like a football game or something. Yeah. And uh, we did ribs and bacon wrapped asparagus. So and um, she liked the asparagus more than the ribs. Like she oh, just yeah. destroyed it. Oh, yeah. I did too. We all Definitely. did. They're both good, but she liked the asparagus more. I know the asparagus, grilled asparagus with bacon on it. Like, <sighs> yes, you can't ever go up. wrong. You yeah. can't ever In go moderation, wrong. of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> For our artery's sake. Um, okay, so fast forward to today. When you came in, you told me that you're currently in the middle of a 48-hour fast. What is that about, and how did that come apart? Because I didn't want you to speak too much on it before right? we recorded. So. Okay, so um, I started school again um, in January, and I had finals. And I was just um, really trying my hardest to get the best grades I could, which I completely achieved. I'm so proud of myself. Right. And um, thank you. And um, in the midst of like all the commotion, I really didn't have that much time to go to the gym, especially like the last month and a half. Um, I my I went from going to the gym like five to six days a week to going Saturday and it just killed me and so I really had to stay on top of my diet and unfortunately when I had finals I like to reward myself with Smith cookies and I have a Soli's like right down the street from my house so I was like find myself stopping at Smith's like three times a week to get cookies especially if I got a good grade and 
you know, when you get an A, you just feel like rewarding yourself. So, um, right now I am doing a 48 hour fast. I don't know if I want to do 40, 48 hours or if I want to do um, 72 hours. I'm kind of debating that right now because tonight at 8.30 will be 48 hours. And I'm thinking like tomorrow morning um, I'll slowly start breaking my fast. If not in the morning, maybe around lunchtime, tacos, yeah. sound good. Yeah. But um, so the reason why I started this 48 hour fast, um, and let me tell you that the last thing that I ate was a ice cream sundae because Christian graduated oh, shut up. <laughs> preschool and so he's going to be a in TK so we had to go celebrate and I got a uh, ice cream sundae and so I knew that I was gonna fast before the sundae so it's kind of like a nice little topper that I had but um, the reason for my fast is because I have a lot of excess water weight right now and so what I'm trying to do is um, let my body heal itself and so what happens when you fast is that your cells um, your new cells start eating your bad cells first and so um, my trouble areas like most girls are around your waist area your tummy your hips behind um, and that's what goes first um, when you start fasting is the bad weight and so I was reading up on fasting and um, how you can like rapidly decrease your bloatedness, how um, you can decrease all the um, excess water, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do. So this is what works for me um, for right now. I've done 24-hour um, fasts before, and they've completely worked. Yeah. Um, as far as like losing, you said your goal is to lose water weight. Yes. Interesting. Water I weight and that. bloat. That's worth looking into. Um, Females definitely struggle with like the waistline and right. the muffin top right. and it's not necessarily fat. People think, you know, oh, I'm water. fat, I'm fat. No, it's from your bread that you're eating and the water that you're drinking or the soda that you're drinking. For sure. So all you have to do is deflate and so what I'm doing is giving my body time to heal, giving my body time to process everything. And um, the first day yesterday, um, it was... Interesting. I had um, the urge to eat, but I wasn't hungry at all. I have enough protein that um, I wasn't hungry, and I have enough fat on my body to survive probably over 30 days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and typically everybody sure. does. Yeah, Unless your sure. body sure. fat percentage is less than like 10%, and you could go like three weeks. <laughs> but. People don't know that, that you don't have to eat every day um, to survive. Right. And so um, I took that into account. Yesterday I had like a minute, very, very minute buzzing around my head and I'm pretty sure it was sugar withdrawal. Um. And so that's like one of the things I'm trying to cut right now is my addiction to sugar because, you know, I have a huge sweet tooth. I know it's bad for me. It's a cancer grower. Um, and so that is one of my hardest things that I've been doing is cutting out that addiction to sugar. They said it's worse than a meth addiction, almost sugar. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. I mean, yeah. it still work the same areas of your brain, your do mm -hmm. dopamine hormones and all that stuff. So, yeah, um, yeah that's interesting. It's worth looking into. Um, yeah. Myself, I had no idea about that. So. Yeah, and it's a complete, um, it's, it, I'm not going to say it's a water fast that I'm doing because I still had coffee with sugar-free hazelnut mm -hmm. um, and I still have tea. So mm -hmm. it's not an all water fast, but um, today I feel fine. I feel great. I actually worked out yesterday. It made my headache go away. I had a great workout yesterday. I'm like super sore nice. in my back, nice. and my arms, and my chest area, which is, I never have a good back day ever. And so I'm like, yes, that's, I feel great today. And I'm going to go to the gym again today. I have like a lot of energy. I'm not hungry. I haven't even got the hungry feeling one time. And I think it's because I've had enough my diet has had enough protein um, that I'm not, I don't get that hungry feeling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And to the, to the point to where it hurts right. anyways. Right. So I might do it another day. I'm not quite
quite too short or I might just cut the calorie intake or do like all natural tomorrow but we'll see I'm going to slowly start introducing um, food back into my system definitely nothing processed definitely nothing with artificial sweeteners or sugar um, not, you know natural sugar maybe but we'll see how it goes yeah you never know. we'll see that's super dope um we got just uh just a few minutes left so real quick i like for my guests to leave a tip um some advice motivational quote whatever something that's impacted you along your fitness journey that's helped to kind of get you to where you're at today so what do you have for our listeners so i would highly suggest that um Figure out what works for you and set your mind to it. Um, whenever you change your mind, you change your life. So if you want something bad enough, you will change your mind for and sure. you'll set a goal and you'll go for it. And that's what I've done um, is I like to set goals. I like to put my head down um, and just really grind until I can achieve it you know for I mean? sure good word okay so real quick i like to do some rapid fire quick and i'm glad i got some new questions too because you've listened to some of these episodes and so yeah, you've probably memorized of some of my old questions but now i have new You're ones for it. you this is <laughs> rapid fire okay so here we go got a couple minutes left would you rather be a master of every musical instrument or be fluent in every language language would you rather be a deep sea diver or an astronaut astronaut would you rather take a guaranteed hundred thousand dollars or a fifty-fifty chance at winning a million dollars? Hundred thousand. Tacos or pizza? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> pizza. Really? <laughs> yes. Just as I get older. Like one percent more. Okay, it's a close call. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's it's really not. It's an easy one for me. I definitely go tacos. Okay. First thing you think of when you wake up in the morning. Um, it's not Christian because he's right next to me. It's Chris because he's working a night shift. Oh. <laughs> Dogs or cats? Cats. Really? Cats, yeah. No, I thought that would be an easy one for you. Yeah, I like dogs too. Yeah, I like a bug. I like a lot. Of Dinner or breakfast? Oh, man. It's an easy one. Hold on. Okay, but dinner. Failed. <laughs> breakfast is the correct answer. No, just... Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Money or free time? Free time. Beach or mountains? Beach. Name one famous person, dead or alive, you'd love to have dinner with. Jesus. Nice. <laughs> if you could be any animal in the world, what would it be and why? Um. That is the last question. I know. What would I be? I'd probably be a tortoise because they live really, really long and they they're... Do live long. Yeah. And they... They're nice and protected by their shell. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I want to live for a long time. That's why I try and you stay you know, <laughs> as healthy as possible. I just want to, I wouldn't out mind, you know, living as long as my son. Yeah, there you go. You know, just to make sure he's always good. <laughs> when he's 80. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, just 104. Just making yeah. sure you're okay. 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 <laughs> Well, thank you, Kaylee, so much. Um, you shared a whole bunch of jewels. I'm sure I know I got a lot. I'm sure our listeners got a lot as well, too. Awesome. Um, I hope to have you sometime back on here to share how your fast is going, any changes that you've had. And um, I appreciate your time. Yay!